Hello, Mark Crossfield here. Today we're going to have a hit off with the TaylorMade 2.0 and the Cobra S3. Let's give these two completely contrasting irons a hit and see how they come out. So, Cobra S3, TaylorMade 2.0. Um, there they are. They're the same iron, aren't they? Spot the difference from there. It's literally where they put the number. Spot the difference from there. Apart from the manufacturer's name, well, you can't even see it on that side. I reckon you're struggling to spot the difference. In fact, in a comment, post which one do you think is which? I know which one's which. Which one do you think, guys, is which? So let me just change them so we don't give that away. Right. S3 2.0, very similar looking clubs. Arguably, these have got to be coming out of the same factory, it feels like. Or um, Cobra and Taylor made both had the same dream one night and, and sawed up this club. So, both gun metally dark finish, both got the silvery sole. That helps with wear and tear. Biggest difference is the where the number is placed on the bottom for, uh, for Taylor made, on the end for Cobra. The problem with the end for Cobra for me is when you're playing in a competition, you can actually see what your partner is hitting. You can actually see the seven there. So if you want to have a good competitive round and not really let them see what iron you're hitting, maybe the Cobra's not the best one. But let's give these a hit, see how they feel. Um, going to start with the Cobra S3. So looking down at the Cobra S3, I do like the look of this. What the black gun metal does is it makes a big headed club, which this is look that little bit smaller because it hides kind of some of the outside of the cup, it blends away. So let's give the Cobra S3 a hit. It does feel solid. Really fires off the face, that does. Absolutely shoots off the face. Let's give that another hit. So Cobra S3. Yeah, I mean it does what you expect it to do. It's aggressive. You know, there's good distance coming off that. It does really shoot off the face. So let's compare that to the 2.0. So TaylorMade's 2.0. I mean, both of these clubs have similar top edges and offset on them. Again, looking down at them, there's not much to tell between them. Um, let's give the 2.0. Same ideas with the 2.0 TaylorMade here. It kind of, the edges bleed away because it's that dark head finish. Let's give it a wallet. I mean, it really fires. Again, like the Cobra, it shoots off the face. Really strong. Feels very powerful off the face. Give it another hit. Yeah, it feels solid. So look, both of these clubs are great for golfers who want a bit of distance. Uh, both of these clubs are really firing off the face. The lofts are cranked, the lengths are cranked for distance. They feel very firm off the face with the heel toe weightings and what have you in these clubs. They're easy to launch as well. So if you're looking for a club that really gives you excellent distance and a bit of launch, um, you know, S3 Cobra and the Burner 2.0 are both doing the same thing. Choices out of both of them, I can't choose. To be honest with you, you're buying into manufacture. Performance wise, both of these clubs are almost identical. The same as they look almost identical. So look, let me know what you think, guys. Cobra S3, TaylorMade 2.0. What's your favourite? Have you hit them both? Did you tell the difference? Could you tell the difference? Let me know. I'd be interested in watching uh, and listening to your comments. Thanks for watching, guys.